Hello friends, I hope everybody's doing good. It's really, really windy today. Um, I just want to apologize for part three. Um, I managed to get pulling this cover off this magneto that we used because I want to replace the condenser because the condenser was no good in it. And I hit record, but it didn't record. So I don't know what happened there. You guys know how it is when we're filming stuff here. Um, and at any rate, this uh, the magneto here that we took off the tractor, it has no spark. So I'll make a video on taking this one apart and we'll clean the po points up on it. And also, uh, the prices really went up on everything. They want uh, $40 for a set of points and condenser. We're just gonna take the cover off here and clean the points. We're not, we're not gonna replace them here. And another problem that we have that I was telling you about before, this is the handle off the uh, 54 Gravely, and it's got the wire rod for the throttle. And also, if you look right here, it has this uh, eyelet here. Well, the eyelets broke off on the other tractor there. And I tried to loosen this. I think they screw in if I remember. I don't really remember, but I don't want to bust this one. So I'm going to try to fabricate some kind of bracket with an eye in it that... Uh, we can stick the rod through there because what's happening is the rod is just flexing so much it's bending and stuff and the throttle's not working right and we also have a problem with the choke here when you go to when you go to choke it this whole thing pulls out here it has one uh nut here i wish it had two i don't know if i have a nut like this around i probably do but who knows where so what I want to try to do with this is I'm going to uh, get this nut to um, come off here and then I'm going to have to take this bracket off and slide this whole thing out and put the nut back on so the nut is here. So when you pull on the choke, it's not pulling, pulling out. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'll set up the uh, tripod and we'll work on this. I got to spray this with some WD-40. I got that nut, this nut here to turn, but it's turning really hard. And I put the vice grips on here, but not too tight. You don't want to squash anything there. So let me, um, yeah, let me get ready here and we'll try to work on this first. And then I still have to see if I can find a bracket or we'll have to make a bracket with an eyelid in it to pass the uh, throttle rod through. All right, so for about the millionth time here, I'm sorry about the wind, but nothing we can do about that. All right, so I'm gonna continue to take this uh, nut out. Well, this part here I was talking about. I think you can see it pretty good. Let me check it out, make sure. Yeah. I was thinking of using a mini clamp on it, which would have worked, but I'll try it this way first. about a mile long so okay so that's not working so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this up and see if I can uh, push this in the bracket some and I want to see if there's nothing in the bolt here uh, it's threaded all the way because maybe if it's not I can use a nut in the bolt here that I can squash this a little more here and I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out um, okay, so what did I do with the wrench now already? Alright, so the 
plan is to uh, fix up this throttle here and I'm going to, going to adjust the carburetor the best I could without the air cleaner on it because that has to be all cleaned up. And we're not going to cut grass with it or anything so I'm not worried about any debris getting sucked into the carburetor. We're just going to do a couple of laps around the uh, car here. So, um, let me get the socket on here. Yeah, the bolt is threaded all the way down here. So. I was wondering if I could get this down in here where it belongs. Looks like this could stand to go down into the bracket a little more. Yeah, I got an idea. I can't move that nut, I think I told you. It won't move. And I don't want to mess up the threads on this thing. Not that it even matters, but... I'm going to stick a vice grip on here and just hit it with the hammer and see if we can drive this down some. I know the whole thing's probably going to want to move, but... And then if I put the nut in the bowl back in, maybe it'll tighten up the... I just want to go get the, the uh, other base grip. Do that clamp to stand down this way, maybe. I don't think I have, an, I might have another setup like this, but I just don't know where.
not working. Well, that would stick a little further. Let me try to nut and bolt it. Maybe it'll hold. I'll try to nut and bolt it again. Turn the nut. This is a work that we're gonna have to go with the uh, hose clamp route, the mini clamp. up this part and they tightened up where that uh, choke goes in here. Uh, I kicked the camera. This first though. That's good. Alright. Alright so I'm going to see if I can find some kind of bracket for the throttle rod and I'll be back. I hope you saw me. Did you see me that whole time? down there yeah I think he did okay so my miscellaneous coffee can I found this we can use and also I already took uh, a hose clamp here and I had to undo it and then get it around the bar and then catch it again um, I want to show you something before we keep going here. They sell these assortment of, uh, look at this guy. They sell an assortment of these hose clamps at Harbor Freight. Don't ever buy them and don't use them on your car. They strip out in like two seconds when you go to tighten the hose up. And if you're lucky enough to tighten the hose up, you can't reuse them again. They strip right out. So let me just show you that package before we well, I just want to give you a help, helpful hint here on what not to buy. I mean, Harbor Freight, I buy a lot of stuff from them, which is pretty good. But I took a chance on these. Never again. Anyway, that clamp that I just put on there, I picked up a few from... I always uh, grab a few clamps when I go to uh, Napa. So, we're pretty good with that. So, all I'm going to do is loosen this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to take the bell crank all the way out because what I'm going to have to do is remove this rod so we can slide that new piece on here. So, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I can get it off. I know I'm sure I'm not going to get it. Yeah, I got it off. All right, so I'll set the camera up and then we'll just clamp I'll slide that bracket up that we're going to be using and I'll clamp that on there and then um, I'll pass this back through off camera because I'm going to need two, two or three hands to do it. So I don't like doing this this way but I'm sorry. The less I shut the camera off the more I don't have to edit. The pause button on this is really small and it's really hard for me to see it. So I've been just shutting the camera off 
And when I shut the camera off and turn it back on, it's like another segment. If I under, if I uh, explain that right. Um, all right. So, which way did we want this? I'm trying to see which way we wanted this on there. Yeah. All right. So I'll put the clamp around this biggest part here, if you could see it. I have to put the camera up some, maybe. Yeah, that's that's how we'll do it. Alright, let me just slide this bracket up on that. Which way do we want the bracket to face? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. So let me just slide this up here. Am I going to want to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just shut you off for a minute. And I'm going to hook the uh, rod back into the uh, doll crank here before... Because I think if we mount this, I won't be able to... Uh, yeah, I won't be able to get the uh, rod back into the bell crank. Alright. Uh, I'll be right back to you. I know this is a boring video, but some of my commenters said they love watching me work on the tractor no matter what I do, so... I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. Okay, so... From what I saw, I don't want to interfere with the choke now either, here. I just hit my head on the top of the camera. <laughs> Let me put the socket on here before I lose it. So, um, yeah, it was on a little bit of an angle here. Should have adjusted this choke in a different position, maybe. I don't know. I wish I had a bigger clamp and I don't, but I think I could slide this on here without a problem, without too much of a big deal here. If I loosen this a little bit, I'll probably spring the clamp. I don't think I put the clamp on too tight here. Too many turns. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we're right against the choke here. I might have to reposition this choke. This throttle's all messed up. I got the throttle off the other tractor I could probably use. But let me get this thing on here first and then we'll worry about that later. A miscellaneous can of assorted whatever is a big help to you sometimes when you're doing stuff like this. I'm going to reposition the choke. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just swung the uh, choke uh, assembly up so it's out of the way of the cable. I mean the uh, throttle rod. The throttle's funky. doesn't work too great. But it's all right. It's a lot better than it was putting that guide on there. And this is how the guide came out here. 
so that worked out pretty good okay so let's try the cold start and I'll let it warm up a little bit we'll do some adjustments on the carburetor if she starts once I make all the adjustments on it I'll um, disconnect the battery cables and I'll just wire I'll um, I'll just tie the wire so we're not dragging on the ground and stuff. So, if it starts, let's see what happens. Maybe we could break another chain. What do you guys think? They were having electrical problems there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get all new cables for this and not mess around with it. It looks the switch is no good. I don't know. That's all we got out of it. That was it. Tractor supply, yeah. Yeah, it's not working. Well, I'll be back again for the hundredth time. I just jump it with the screwdriver, that seems to work.
I'll go get set up in the yard and we'll take it for a quick ride. All right, let me go get the tractor and we'll go and I hope we don't run out of gas. I forgot to see how much gas is in it. I'm surprised how good it runs. We still got other work to do to it, but um, yeah, those uh, battery hands, if they had to do something with the throttle. The throttle's like loose and then we get to a certain point and it's hard. I looked at the throttle on that other handle and it's, uh, it's all messed up. Yeah. So I might have to take that off and bend it back and do something with it. Um, yeah, that pretty cool. It's a throttle rod guide that works great. It's a big difference. Um, yeah, the uh, battery cables, we're going to do some more work on it. I noticed that it doesn't have the remote PTO lever, you have to go under the battery tray to kick the uh, PTO on. That's not cool. <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm going to have to sell this one. I mean, I have five of them. There's no reason to keep any more. I can't even pack any more inside the storage here. And I hate to sell them. I always hate to sell them, but... Um, before I continue to keep rambling on like I like to do, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said before, uh, videos on it. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Uh, I'm sanding the paint down to the bare metal and paint, painting it. I only do that for mine. It's not going to make a difference in the price. Much of a difference compared to what I have to go through to make them look really nice. So we're not going to do that to it. But I'll be back to you as soon as I get the cables and we'll install a battery. And I go to Napa and buy Chrysler battery hold down rods and the part that goes across the top of the battery. And, um, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. 
I'll see you all on the next one and stay safe.